welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW low carb recipe. Tonight's dinner was so good. You would never know that it is low carb because it was so full of flavor. It was absolutely delicious. So I can't wait to share my low carb Philly cheesesteak bowl with you. So if you want to see tonight's recipe step by step, get the smart points and have a little fun, just stay tuned. For tonight's low carb recipe, we are going to be making a Philly cheesesteak bowl. So we're omitting the bun, but we are keeping all of the flavor. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. And by the way, you guys, I'm really excited about this. So you're going to need some oil. I'm going to be doing avocado oil, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, beef broth, lean hamburger, extra lean. This is 92.8 Laura's lean beef. Bell peppers of your choice. I'm gonna do all three colors and three peppers total because we love peppers. You'll also need some mushrooms, a couple of onions, and you can either use a slice of provolone cheese or save the points and use some of the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella. My husband will do the slices. I'll do the mozzarella. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do is chop, chop, chop. So I'm gonna go ahead chop these into slices, chop these into slices. We're just gonna put them here in a bowl. Both of these combined because everything gets cooked at once. So let's get these veggies chopped. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook down our ground beef. We'll drain any excess fat and then we'll add in our Worcestershire, our beef broth, and then some salt and pepper. While your hamburger is starting to brown, go ahead and add one teaspoon of oil to another pan. Get a pretty good size or deep pan because we are actually gonna cook down all of our vegetables, our mushrooms, our peppers, our onions. So it is going to really fill up this pan. Luckily they'll cook down and really decrease in size, but make sure you're getting quite a large pan. So we're gonna allow these to cook down a little bit in that oil, and then we'll add a little salt and pepper to these as well. My hamburger is just about done. I did go ahead and salt and pepper it. And my veggies, I salt and peppered them as well. They're coming along pretty darn good. I'll just allow them to continue to cook while we finish up what goes into our burger. So. The grease is drained and now we're going to add our beef broth. The recipe calls for about a half of a cup. And then we're also going to add in our Worcestershire sauce. I am just gonna wing it. As you know, I usually don't measure this type of thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of that. And then we're just gonna allow this to cook down a little bit longer. So we're gonna let our hamburger cook down until it's absorbed all of the liquid or the majority. I went ahead and added the rest of that can of beef broth here to my veggies rather than wasting it. And I'm just going to let them soak up a little bit of that flavor and then I'll empty the broth and let them kind of crisp up while the hamburger is continuing to cook through. All right, our hamburger is done. 90% of the liquid has been absorbed. I went ahead and emptied out the rest of the beef broth and then these got a nice kind of crisp on them. So let's put together these Philly cheesesteak bowls. So I have one fourth of the ground hamburger. The recipe makes four servings. And then I'm going to add in my vegetables. Now, since the veggies are free, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my bowl with a lot of the peppers, mushrooms, and onions. And then the last step is we're just gonna add one ounce of the Trader Joe's mozzarella cheese. So the last step is one ounce of the Trader Joe's cheese. We're just gonna put that on top and we have a Philly cheesesteak bowl. So I'm gonna put pop this in the microwave, let this cheese melt. I'll be back to show you our completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here is our completed dinner. So I went ahead and melted my mozzarella cheese. It is hot, so I have it on a towel. So this is going to be dinner, so one fourth of the recipe, this includes the cheese, is only five smart points. So this low carb Philly cheese steak bowl is five smart points. Thank you for joining me on another episode of my WW Low Carb series. You guys are loving this series. I'm loving this series. This recipe was so good, you would never know that it was low carb. It was that 
absolutely delicious. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and that little bell. That way you're notified every time I upload. You don't want to miss a single video. The recipe is down in the description box along with all of my discount codes that I can give to you guys and all the goodness, happy mail, all of that fun stuff down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.